Another case of an overzealous cop using his weapon because he feared for his life. An officer by the name of Ruben Cuesta of the NYPD's 46th precinct shot a woman's dog. Now we're going to show you the video. It is graphic, so viewer discretion is advised. So look, that, that's a little hard to watch for me. I, I'm not even a dog person per se, you know, um, you know, there's some dogs that I've grown, you know, attached to cause I know them, but just any regular dog that I don't know, I don't, I don't really, you know, I don't really care for them too much cause I don't know their temperament, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I do recognize that it's a living being, you know, and this dog seemed to be friendly. The, the owner was even yelling, he's friendly, he's friendly. Yeah. And this officer shot him anyways. The, the dog's tail was wagging. It wasn't like jumping up and down, down or it didn't it seem to be like, barking. It was like, like kind of like, yeah. Uh, 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 like. yeah it, now, it was a pit bull, but it was pretty small. It wasn't really big, a big animal. No. And again, it was like slipping on the floor. It wasn't charging. It was not charging. But again, you know, if you have a fear of something, yeah, it may look different to you. But see, but he's a police officer. He's a police officer. Why is he so quick to use his? Gun? And he had his gun unholstered and in his hand before the dog even got out of the apartment. So he's ready to use his gun. Yeah, regardless. So they they so they were in this apartment building because they were responding to a domestic violence call. At another apartment. Now, I don't know why they were standing outside of uh, the, the the tenant's name is Yvonne uh, Rosado. I don't know. We don't know why they were standing right there outside her apartment, but she heard some noise. That's why she opened the door. And, you know, the dog, his name was Spike. He slipped out and this officer just shot him, mm-hmm. shot him right in the head. And then retreated down the stairs yes. and kind of stayed back yes. while the owner and the owner's daughter yeah. were... And the neighbor, too, t- was yeah. Yeah, trying to tend he to was just like, the dog. He was just like, mm, like yeah. cowering back, almost going down the stairs. I'm like, hmm, you know what you... Like, you just did that. Like, mm-hmm. why don't you come up there and face what you just did? So the Daily News pointed out that cops can protect themselves by shooting animals, quote only to defend themselves or others from the threat of physical injury or death. And again, they're only allowed to use their weapons, quote, as a last resort to stop an animal attack. That looked like a first resort. Exactly. Was was any of those provisions, did we see that on the video? No. It didn't look like the dog was going to attack anybody, you know, especially the police officer. And again, was this a first resort? A first resort <laughs> or a first response? No, or was this we, a well, last remember, resort? Remember, remember, he already had the gun out of yes. his holster and mm-hmm. drawn before, like right as the door was mm-hmm. opening. And look, we 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 totally understand that a police officer's job is difficult. Mm-hmm. It's not for everybody. Mm-hmm. It's not for me. It's not for me. I can either. admit it's not for me. It's definitely not for Mm-mm. me. No, because I, I I know what you know what lane I ride in, right? And that's not my lane. No. Nope. No, nope, so I, I don't mind. think I can do it either. It's, it's not for me. But if you're going to take that responsibility, if that's going to be your professional career, then you can't do stuff like this. Then your temperament has to match. That. Yeah. They, I mean, these police officers, they're scared of everything. They use fear. I'm in fear of my life for everything, whatever reason. Whatever reason. Yeah. They just throw that out there. Yeah. I was scared. So I pulled my gun out and I shot the dog in the head, even though the dog wasn't attacking me. He looked like he really wanted to use that weapon. Maybe he <laughs> hasn't had a chance to use it on a human. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, and the, the I guess, 
the result of this too is is pretty bad too. I mean, it was just like insult to injury, you know, to cremate the dog, uh, you know, Rosado, the 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 owner of the of the animal. She requested that the you know police officer or the the police department pay for the cremation services, and they didn't do it. So she had to foot that bill. I think it was about two hundred sixty five dollars. I mean, it, you know, at least that. I mean, that would have been a good gesture, at least. At least. At least. And William Bratton, the uh, police chief, he said that the officer is going to have to explain his actions, justify why he used that kind of force in that situation. But do we, re- I mean, I don't know. Do you expect anything out of this? No. I just, I, I just don't have any faith that anything is going to happen to this so, officer. Because see, that's, because that's a case where you, you can't get into someone's head to mm-hmm. really know whether they fear for their life or not. That's that's why it's you, because it's subjective. It's it's, it's very subjective because that's relative to that person's mentality. That's that's why I don't think anything is going to happen because that's not something you can really prove. No matter what the video looks like, this was a awful abuse of power, and there should be some. There should be some consequences.